we're going to look at some contexts in which we might need to work out the percentage. And we're going to see that what we have to do is as easy as turning a fraction into a percentage, which we know how to do already. So here's our first example. I got 9 out of 20 for my test. What percentage did I get? As I said, this is as simple as turning a fraction into a percentage. Because what did I get? I got 9 out of 20. It's a fraction. I just need to turn that fraction into a percentage. And you know very well how to do that by now. You multiply by 100%. So you get 9 times by 100 over 20. We cancel. The 2 can cancel in here. 5 there. So we get the answer of 45%. So if we read a question like this, I tested 60 of the new tablets my school bought and 20 of them were faulty. What percentage were not faulty? The only extra caution here is just to be very careful. They're asking about the percent that were not faulty, but they gave you information about the number that were faulty. But that's very easy to get around. If 20 out of the 60 were faulty, then 40 of them were not faulty. So to work out the percentage that were not faulty, we must just take the 40, which is the number that were not faulty, out of 60, and then turn that into a percentage. So we do that in our usual way. It's going to be 40 multiplied by 100 over 60. And if we just do our cancelling as we normally do to get things simpler, we'll see that we have to work out 200 divided by 3. And 3 goes into 20 six times, remainder 2, 3 goes into 20 six times, remainder 2, 3 goes into 20 six times, remainder 2, it's going to carry on like that. And so we get that 66,6666666 forever percentage of the tablets were not faulty.